Good afternoon, guys, on Thursday, the 24th of January. Post-mortem time for Fapple. Boy, is it getting fugly as fugly can get here. Um, I'm just going to start with some scales of force. Uh, I went back and I measured the price move for all of 2012 because I think with this much damage, you really have to look at the greater trend and pull it off a weekly chart, but I'll make my notes here on a daily. This should have been support right up here at 477 and some change. It was not to be. There's no more force level support all the way down until you get into the 405.85 area. Next force level support on a greater trend basis. I don't think it's going there immediately. In fact, I think there'll be some bounce targets <clears throat> because this is so oversold now. Down 59, 466 would be a bounce target intraday. And that failed support at 477, new resistance. Every simple moving average, of course, sloping down. Relative strength on Apple uh, compared to the technology exchange traded fund, Acapulco Cliff Dive, Kamikaze Death Spiral there. Money stream leaving fast. I imagine it will be leaving a lot faster this afternoon when the institutions start dumping. As bearish as I'm sounding on this, I'm looking at calls because I do think there will be a new knee-jerk bounce. And I'm looking at those February 470s for a possible quick turn and burn on FAPL. And you couldn't paint a more reverse picture other than to look at Google. Here are the scales of force from that all-time high up, into, up in October to the November low gave us force level resistance up in the 757 area. Looks like it hit that uh, this morning on Google. Just moonshot, next resistance. There is no more resistance until we get back to that all-time high in October over and above 770. Relative strength on Google, very nice reaching for the sky. Money stream picking up. Volume not that fantastic, but uh, money out of Apple, money into Google, and as we're about to see, what Doug Cass is calling the next Apple, Netflix. Let's take a look at this one. A 43% one-day bounce for these pikers, Netflix. Support. Uh, if this wears off, it's about 113.85 on Netflix. When it crossed the 137 uh, force level up, it broke some serious resistance. It's five points above that right now. There really is no more resistance that's meaningful until you get up into the 171, 172 area. I don't think that's going to happen at all. I think this is going to wear off in a couple of days. That being said, relative strength. Reaching for the sky, money stream coming in, RSI definitely showing some overbought, but we'll see how the afternoon goes on Netflix. Pay close attention to that 137. That's an important force level area of resistance. You need to close above there, really, if this thing's going to get any teeth, and the oscillators are speaking for themselves. Last but not least, guys, research in motion. A lot of hype today that the Chinese want to come in and make a bid for this company. Ran it up about $18.32 intraday high. If that gets cracked out that high, your next force level of resistance is at $18.62. Levels after that, $18.84, and then the $19.31 area on REM. We're still moving into the launch next Wednesday. Relative strength, beautiful. Money stream was high and mighty, but it's starting to level off. And RSI flirting with some overbought areas. Average true range on RIM is up to 91 uh, cents now. I'm liking that quite a bit. 90 million shares on, and it's only 1.30 in the afternoon. Well, there you go. A tale of three earnings reports and research in motion. Uh, don't know what to say about Apple. They only made $54 billion in 13 weeks. They only have $137 billion in cash. Uh, what a pitiful, awful, 
lousy excuse for a company. I am King Cambo. Smoke them if you got them. And that's how I roll on Apple, Google, Netflix, and Rim.